My name is Martin Leavesley. Uh, I'm a professor here at Leeds University and I've been working on robotics for the last 15 years. So a chance meeting between myself and a guy called Bipin Bacter, who was a senior lecturer at the time and he also was a consultant in the NHS working on um, neurological rehabilitation. And we were chatting about what, the, what my title was and he made a bit of a leap and was saying, oh, that's interesting because that's exactly kind of, you know, my job is around that idea of people trying to regain control. And when people have a stroke or they have a ne neurological sort of insult of any sort, head injury or kids with cerebral palsy, people lose the ability to effectively send signals from your brain down to parts of your body like your arms and your legs. The whole point of having a physiotherapist moving people's arms around is to actually make sure the signals are coming back from your muscles back up to the brain at the same time that you've got signals going back down to your arm from your brain. When we first started it, we envisaged that we would build a robotic system that would replicate what a physiotherapist would do. We built a device uh, at the outset which was going to be used in a hospital setting. And so it would allow physiotherapists to put a patient into a, a robot system. And we built a couple of different iterations of this before we put it out into quite a large clinical trial. At the same time, we started to work on something that we could put into people's homes. So we built one that would deliver the same amount of physiotherapy, but just in a simpler way. In the early stages of your recovery, it might be that the robot moves your hand around quite a lot to allow you to achieve targets and reach targets on the screen. And as your therapy progresses and as your stroke recovery improves, the robot does less and less and you're encouraged to do more and more. I had no idea when I moved up here I was going to be working in robotics at all. But the work in the medical robotics had that real human angle to it that really grabbed my attention. People were very upset when, when we heard that Bipin had a brain tumour. Um, Bipin passed away a while ago. Um, we're definitely doing it because we believe in what it was that Bipin had set up in the first place. Now it's getting to the point where it really does need to be taken out and lots of people having a go at it. And with your support, I think we can make this happen.